Since I've been a little kid, I've really been curious about how things work and I just wanted to know how do things come together, how do they function and to figure out how that happens, I wouldn't mind just breaking apart my toys to see exactly, okay, so how does this move and how does this light work? I guess my parents were really understanding, you know, without really freaking out as to what is she up to. So when I started, I was a very quiet kid. The other trait that uh, I had was that I was very slow. My brother is extremely intelligent. Everything would come easy for him. So to try to do those things, I had to work harder. And uh, because I worked hard on these things, uh, I've become more, uh, more hardworking in anything that I do. I also liked a lot of sports. I was always involved in sports. I would play tennis every day. One of the, uh, the things that it taught me was consistency and just keep working hard on a particular thing. I was a single child till my high school. So one of the philosophies which I had is whatever I take up, I would always think of it from the angle of my parents. What would I do which will make them proud, make them happy? That was, I would say, the foundation of uh, many of decisions which I've made in my life. So I was very sincere. Whatever I would take up, even in my childhood, I would just make sure that I would give my 100% to it and excel in it. So I was the most mischievous of the three, right? That started with uh, playing non-stop on the field. My dad would come, I would be the last one to go off the field. And uh, the most important thing that uh, really was in my childhood was curiosity and you know the eagerness to learn be it you know learning a new dance step or learning how to spin ball or how to basically solve a new maths problem i believe that who you really are is 50 percent of where you come from and 50 percent of where you're going so right now i'm actually working with the indian company in uh, bringing solar power in india for industrial and commercial users one thing is that when you know, you're know trying to figure out how things work, I always ask questions why. Uh, and those questions are to the engineering teams or to the R&D teams or the product development team. As in, why does this happen? How can we make this function better? How can we make this technology work for the market uh, and really utilize it as an application for a petrol pump or an ATM or for any industry? Uh, right now, I'm actually working in my own hospital. It's a family-run hospital. I am working with a lot of different kinds of people. I'm working with doctors who have uh, years of experience and to probably convince them and persuade them to do something different is a challenge. And uh, here also, whenever I'm working, I would always give it my best. I currently work as a management consultant at a global firm. Over the past four years, I have focused on consulting and advising my clients in consumer goods and retail space in India. Whenever I, uh, I'm working with a company and trying to help them, uh, I would just give my 100% to whatever I take up. If I'm taking end-to-end -end ownership, it just frees the mind space of my manager. and. He is much more relaxed and he can think about other 10 different uh, bigger things and overall it ha helps in the success of the project. So I started actually programming very early in my life and that really drove a passion inside me and I started understanding uh, how the flowchart works, how a problem is solved, not just by one way but finding multiple ways to solve the same problem. And I think that's what's got me here and Venture Capital does give me that kind of exposure, that kind of platform wherein I interact with various entrepreneurs day in, day out, uh, discuss different business models every second day and uh, you know work on technologies which not just shape you know human consumer behavior but also eases you know the way we live our lives. So my plan is to actually uh, think of business ideas. It's a venture capital investor come entrepreneurial role. Come up with industry changing technologies myself and uh, work with teams to actually execute those ideas. So my long term plan is to come back to India and work with the consumer goods company and leading them to a path of higher growth and make them big in terms of their global identity. You know, I realize that there are certain challenges that are there in India with relation to healthcare. The biggest challenge is accessibility. 70% of the population in India is in rural areas and 80% of the hospitals are in the urban areas. So how do you bridge the gap? My goal is 
to try to reduce this gap the way i see myself 10 or 15 years down the line is really being in a place where you can impact a lot of people uh, and that could be through technology through its application it could be in energy or it could be in bringing people together but the bottom line would be to let people know that everything you love doing and everything that you've learned can contribute to something much bigger in the world